So here, one more uh, method is to start from which uh, we can disconnect this compound and uh, we can synthesize this compound if we have this compound, this bromo compound. So, this other moiety is, this other moiety could be this aldehyde. So, if we have this uh, bromo compound or this aldehyde, we can generate uh, Grignard reagent here or uh, lithium uh, lithiated compound here because bromo compounds are more reactive to magnesium or lithium and generate either Grignard reagent or lithiated compound. Those compounds we can react with this aldehyde. Aldehydes are much more reactive. The, uh, so undergoes 1-2 addition rather than 1-4 addition. So we will get this compound. So this is one more alternative. From this we can go for this one and from here we can go for this one. So these are four methods to think of this uh, target molecule. Let us see if we have some more methods. Till now, we have discussed, we have thought about four methods to synthesize this target naphthamine compound. And like this, we can think of more and more methods and we can go for the best method which, uh, which uh, will be having less number of steps and more yield. Before this acetylation we have to do. 
even sometimes the acid also we can use, but uh, acid chloride is more reactive than acid. This is the product. Now, from this, just uh, yeah, we can reduce uh, both the uh, functional groups. This OH. I don't want to reduce this double bond. For that, I can use, uh, I can go for a low chi reduction. That is sodium monohydrate difference of cerium chloride. This is uh, selective reagent. This is called low chi reduction. So that. If we do this reaction, we will end up with this compound. It won't touch this double bond. If we use only sodium monohydrate, mixture of compounds will form. That is, one is saturated compound, one more is unsaturated, this compound. So to avoid that, this is the method to selectively uh, reduce the keto group. This is called Luci reduction. So here, if we add water, then what will happen? Yeah, here I can go for uh, hydroboration. That would be better. Why? Because if I just do uh, acid means uh, um, mercury, uh, mercury sulfate, H2SO4 and H2SO4, OH group will come here. OH group will, uh, group will come here and this will, uh, uh, here H plus will come attack here and OH group come here because this more uh, means, uh, uh, here uh, cation is more stable. So what means one inch uh, moiety comes and attacks here. So I want to go for hydroboration. Let us see what the reactions what will happen. If I use HDSO4, H2SO4, I will get OH OH. This is the compound I will get. If I use hydroboration, BH3 hydroboration followed by H2O2 OH minus, then I will end up with this compound. So, if we have this compound, we can remove or dehydrate two molecules of water molecule. And we will get the desired compound. So, thinking of this uh, synthon is okay. The, why? Because we are getting uh, the final compound from this uh, intermediate synthon. So this this connection approach is right. We can go for this uh, this connection approach. Here from here also from here also if we go for this reaction, I think. We can go for this reaction also. Why? Because OH, OH, there are reagents. This 
کمپاؤنڈ بھی کن گیٹ دس کمپاؤنڈ بھی کن گیٹ سو سم مینس یا ونٹر اوریجن سنتھسس فور اے ونٹر اوریجن سنتھسس وی کین یوٹیلائز ہیئر دیٹ از نیور ریاکشن وائی ایچ وائی ایچ از دیر سو تھائیو پاس جین وی کین یوز ہیئر یس سی وہ سی ایڈ ٹو ایس پاس جین تھائیو پاس جین وی کین یوز اور وی کین یوز سم پاس پائیٹ ٹرائیتھائل پاس پائیٹ اور سمتین لائک دیٹ ٹرائیتھائل پاس پائیٹ تو گیٹ دس کاؤن سو مینس وی کن ایکسپلور اور ایڈیاز ایف وی گو دس سائیڈ اور دس وی آرسو وی کن گیٹ دس کاؤن دس وی آرسو وی کن گیٹ دس کاؤن ایف وی گیٹ دس کاؤن جسٹ ڈی ڈی کیو ڈی ایکشن will give this combo, target point. Here, KOH, simple elimination of this uh, two molecules of water to yield the target. So this is one way of thinking uh, the target molecule from this intermediate. So if we have this intermediate, we can synthesize this compound. Now, how to synthesize this compound? Let us see. We will think about it. Some 
And this we can synthesize if we have plus this is aceptoid and this is ester. Acid chloride is more reactive than ester, so we can go for it. Or we can utilize instead of ester group, we can utilize protected. If we have this also we can utilize we can just uh, hydro hydrolyze this ester we can make acid chloride and that acid chloride we can utilize here that means We have this, we can synthesize this compound. Well, just after reaction, just a high acid hydrolysis will remove this uh, uh, glycol protecting group, and this will this compound means uh, this uh, uh, here keto is not there, here keto is there, so the compound will be like this. Like so from here we will get this compound from uh, this compound we can get from these two constituents so in this way I think this is the uh, fifth method so in this way we can think the so many methods to construct one molecule so here just by standing we have thought for five methods so I better suggest uh, you to think for more methods so that uh, your mind and uh, your ideas can be explored. Now I want to go for one more target molecule. Let us see how to plan for that molecule. I want to discuss is some bicyclic molecule. Bicyclic molecule I want to discuss now. What is that bicyclic molecule? This bicyclic molecule I want to write this connection approach and again I want to construct this molecule, synthesize this molecule. Let us see. Here, uh, this is endoesteric group. First, let us see the name of this compound. The name of this compound is 
tú necesitas ahí tú Mijail bicyclo bicyclo this is this is one cycle this is uh, this is one cycle uh, alkene ring this is one cycle alkene ring so two cycle alkene rings so by cyclo start uh, square bracket two carbons two carbons two carbons two 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 comma two comma two. Now total number of carbons are eight. One two three four five six seven and eight. Eight. Okay. Okay. This is the Ayurvedic name of this compound. Now I want to disconnect this compound, this molecule. Let us see how. So here you see this methyl group is. In exo position, this acetyl group is in yellow position. So, there are bicyclic compounds in which electron deficient, that means electrophilic carbon containing uh, functional group, is in endo form. I think we better go for the famous reaction, Diels-Alder reaction. Diels-Alder reaction. We can think to synthesize this compound. How? Let us see. If I have double bond here, actually we should not write like this. Here and here some gap should be there. Why? Because this bond is above. And this bond is below the plane. This bond is above the plane. This bond is below the plane. So always some gap should be there here while writing. So here also some gap should be there here and here. Why that? Uh, whenever that practice should be there. Here, if we have this. Double bonded compound, this unsaturated compound. Then we can easily reduce this double bond with palladium or carbon, and we can get this compound. So this is okay. Now, how to synthesize this compound? So we can think of Diels order reaction. Diels order reaction. We can think before that. We have to simplify this group. I can write cyano here. This will be here. If I do here, the good one. If I do Grignard reaction over this cyanide. That means methyl magnesium bromide reaction over this cyanide and acidic workup. I will get this keto group. So from this we can synthesize this compound. So this compound I can synthesize if I have. This diene, cyclohexadiene, plus this. This is this part. This part is alkene. Diels order reaction will be faster if. Uh, in this other reaction, this is called diene, and this partner is called dienophile. Dienophile means hungry for diene. This is dienophile, and this is diene. Why? Because two alkenes are there. This is diene. 
So always uh, electron rich uh, moiety should be dying and electron deficient moiety should be dinophile. So here cyanide, the cyanide group is there. So that will make this double bond electrophilic, electron deficient. That means this order reaction will be more faster. So here this diene we can get if we have this cyclohexene. If we have this cyclohexene, we can easily prepare this uh, diene, cyclohexa diene. How? In two ways uh, we can uh, think of uh, preparing uh, this compound from this cyclohexene. What are the two ways? This is I have. Uh, if I just treat the one component of uh, DDQ, I will get this compound. Or uh, I can think of dihydroxylation. with osmium tetroxide or potassium permanganate in terms of this and I can deprotect these two alcohols that means two molecules of uh, water I can deprotect the elimination reaction I can perform that is with KOH to yield HOH one molecule, HOH one molecule. So, in this way, we can think how to prepare this target molecule. So, here from this cyclohexene, we can synthesize this uh, diene. If we get this diene, we can uh, react with this uh, small moiety cyanide. Uh, means uh, this is Diels order reaction to get this compound. Here one point uh, we have to discuss why this is uh, always uh, endo. This is because of uh, some endo rule is there. That means when it is, uh, means uh, when these two reacts, then the electro deficient, comp electron deficient compound that is uh, functional group always in endo form. That is the major compound. Major compound will be means will be uh, that one in which the functional group, uh, electron deficient functional group, will be in end of uh, end of position. Why? Because the secondary orbital overlap. This concept we will discuss when we discuss pericyclic reactions. In that Diels order reaction means cycloaddition reactions. So here. Secondary orbital uh, overlaps with uh, uh, for this uh, cyano group uh, orbitals and this alkene orbitals. There are secondary orbital overlaps with there, so preferentially this cyano group will be in endo form, not exo form. If it is exo form, those uh, secondary orbital overlaps uh, overlap will be missing, so this prefers to be in endo form. So this compound we can uh, uh, synthesize if we have these two moieties. So if we have this cyanide group, we can perform methyl magnesium bromide reaction and uh, we can easily reduce this double bond with palladium over carbon to get this target molecule that is to state to methyl glycyl clock 2 to 2 of pain. So today I will start my discussion here and I will give some uh, examples. Some means uh, for those students who are uh, following this section, uh, I want to give some uh, homework. Some problems I want to give for this connection.
this is the next target molecule which we have to disconnect which we have to disconnect in CSAR exam most of the questions will be in means uh, uh, like they will give one substrate arrow some reagent and then what is the compound then arrow that is A so here substrate what is this reagent what is this compound if they give this uh, reagent they will ask for this compound if they give this compound this uh, means product this reagent they will ask like that what is this what is this this type of questions uh, will be more in CSR exam or uh, actually synthetic organic chemistry uh, we have to uh, practice for this type of questions for that we have to have the knowledge of disconnection approach and resynthesis of that uh, compound so for this uh, type of questions this practice is more important so how to disconnect this compound we will discuss in the next class next section so for that time uh, for today it is enough okay see you good night